The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the January 11th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't dial in, we've got you covered. You can always send me an email. Now, send that off early and send that to steve at tfnn.com. Inside that subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We got a mixed bag out there right now. You got the Dow off 177, the S and P's off two, the uh, Nasdaq 100 is up three, the semi, the Russell's off about two, semis are off 26, Trendy's down 129. You've got gold trading up 38 bucks. That's nearly two percent. Three and a half percent for silver. That's 81 cents. Uh, lights we crude up nearly two percent, or a buck 31. Natural gas up 15 pennies, nearly a five percent move there. And the 30-year Treasury it's basically flat, printed out at 122.25. Our leaders in the clubhouse to the upside regenerate pharmaceuticals 17 buck roonies o'reilly automotive 13 northrop grumman 9 a globant sa up eight and epam systems up eight as well to the downside micro strategy 32 bucks united health is off 21 idex labs down 15 and change humana 15 and change elevance health 10 and change to the downside so we got movers and we've got some shakers let's begin our day by taking a look at the um Let's go take a look at the daily equity future contracts. Let's go take a look at them on my other system out here, white background system, system that is powered by the Ninja Trader charts. And here what we'll see, you got the ES Mini upper left-hand side. Yesterday was a key reversal bar. Key reversal bar requires you to be in, it needs really three things. You got to be in an extended condition. Well, we were, and that was telling us because we had that Rhodes momentum indicator signal back on December 28th. The extended condition, you've got to exceed the high and low of the prior bar. That accomplished yesterday. And then third, you've got to close one tick, one pip, one penny in the opposite direction of the trend. Well, it did all those things. That is a key reversal bar that confirms a Rhodes momentum indicator top. Now, prices below the center of that profile 48.27 that suggests we should see a move lower however we're fortunate enough you and i we're fortunate enough to have a set of profiles that is different on our black background charts so the level that price needs to close below in order to suggest that we get that 47.16 level is going to be 47.99 so at day's end watch the es mini if it's closing below that that tells you come next week we should see a move back down towards the 47.15 level if we take a look at the nq the Russell 2000. There is no topping pattern out here inside the daily NQ chart. Price is trading above the top of its daily profile. When you trade above the top of a daily profile, the top is resistance. The top is where sellers are. It is a bullish signal out here. You've got a green oscillator and change on that adds to the bullishness. Now, the NQ has lost its momentum, but it does tell us we have a, a, a price oscillator that is above zero. Those are bullish conditions. Now, if, in fact, the NQ were to close above the screen oscillator and change line, it would make a B line for its most recent high out there. So the level to be watching here today 
is 17017 to the upside. To the downside, if price were to get back inside his profile, that would require a close below 16832, another number that you should have on your pad of paper. That would then signal that we had lower, and lower would be basically to the buy zone. Its buy zone is between 16417 and 16583. The Dow Equity Future contract form a road momentum indicator top back on January 3rd. Doesn't matter if we get a Three River Evening Star Candle formation today to confirm another one. We've got a road momentum indicator top. What the Dow has not been able to do is take out profile support. And profile support for it is at 37.607 and resists at 38041. The Dow is the only instrument that has not generated a a profile change in trend signal to the downside. Now, in the case of the NQ, it has generated both a change in trend profile to the downside and also now one up to the upside. In the case of the Russell, so what does that mean? That means that in the case of the NQ, we need a pretty good topping pattern to suggest that uh, a top is in out here. If we take a look at the Russell 2000, that does have a road momentum indicator top. That was confirmed with that four bar evening star candle formation. Right now, we just have a good old fashioned consolidation with inside its profile. The support zone there is down at the 1954 level and resistance 2002. If either, if either side gets broken, that is likely where price would go ahead and run to. So that's the overview of the daily equity future contracts. Just to add a little color to it, let's go see what's going on on an intraday basis. Let's take a look at the ES Mini. If we look at the ES Mini, you can see you've got on a 10-minute time frame chart, you've got a TD9 count top. What did that TD9 count top do? Took price right back to where it had broken out from. Where did it break out from? 4802.75. So you had a sell. And then you had a buy. Now the key is price is taking on. This is where the first resistance level would be on any kind of a rally when you get a bottom. And getting back to a breakout level can be a bottom out there is that oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at 48.15. If price is able to close above that, again, it's green, then you'd have a rising price oscillator above zero. That would be a bullish condition. And price would then go target the next level of resistance. On my charts, that's easy to identify because that would be at 48.25.60. Can't print to 60, but 48.25.50 out there. And above that, 48.31. Above that, 48.36. 15-minute time frame chart. TD9 count. We can see that it's really the 10-minute chart that has more control, at least from a signal standpoint, because it came back. Price broke right back, came back to its breakout level. In the 15-minute time frame chart, price has not gotten down there. Doesn't mean that it won't. In fact, if price does not close above 48.15 on a 15-minute basis, then I'd say it probably will. If it does close above it, if it's only a counter trend move on a 15-minute time frame, price will find resistance between 48.21 and 48.25, 48.25 being the real key number to be paying attention to. 30-minute time frame chart, we've got nothing out there other than price consolidating with inside its profile. The same with regard to the 60-minute chart, although, six, yeah, the same with regard to the 60-minute chart out there. I don't really have anything else out here that's worth really notating uh, for you. So I think when it comes to the ES Mini, it's real. I can simplify it for you. If the ES Mini closes below 47.9950 is going to be the number, then we're likely to see a further move lower inside the ES Mini. We come back from this break. Let's go take a look at Block for Jimmy D, Gold for somebody requested that, Amazon for Duncan Steve. Um, <laughs> A natural gas for ELO. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go take a look at ticker symbol BLOK. That is for uh, Jimmy D inside the uh, Tiger's Den. You've got block trading out. So Jimmy is looking for an entry point, I believe. BLOK, again, is the uh, ticker symbol. So an entry point could be 2635. So that's going to be the first one. So what we have out here is I don't know why this topped. In other words, I don't have one of my topping patterns that I can see off the top of my head out here. But the reason, so and we can see that price yesterday closed below the bottom of its daily profile. We're trading below that again today. Here, Jimmy, that tells us about a, a profile change in trend out here. In fact, we had another one, a profile change in trend back on January 3rd. And on January 4th, that led to a rally right up in resistance, the top of its daily profile yesterday. Now, the next level of support is going to be the breakout level, 2635. But today, you can also generate a A to B equals CD pattern. So we're going to take a look at that. The B point would be the trading day of January 3rd. Volume there was 348,000 shares. So far, you've done 368. So in essence, you already have a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern on the downside. How do you compare January 3rd's volume to today's volume? I don't know. But regardless, you still have an A to B equals CD to the downside. As long as price closes below that low, Let's go ahead and I'll give you that low again, and let's take a look at that A to B equals CD, which would take us below the 2635 area. Not by much, but around 2611 or thereabouts. So the first thing to be watching here inside of block is going to be the low from the trading day of January 3rd, and again, that is at 2802. If you close below that, you're likely headed down to 2635 or so. That's the area where you start looking then for that bottom that you want to buy. Because it would be an A to B equals CD pattern on the downside, you ideally would see some type of bullish reversal candle as price gets down into that 26 and change level out there. If you get that, then you go ahead and fire away. If you don't get that, you don't fire away. You wait for the bullish reversal candle. And the reason is you need the market to at least need the cavalry to tell you that they're ready to try to defend themselves out there. And that's what those bullish and bearish reversal candles are really all about. You can go ahead and buy the A to B equals CD pattern. I think if you do that along the way, you're going to find you're going to get burned out there. Wait for the cavalry to arrive. In the case of the weekly time frame chart, you have a TD9 count top. 
That suggests that price pulls back and at least tests its oscillator and change line. Jimmy, that's currently priced at 26.76. So we got the 26.11, 35, 26.76 area. So we can see that we've got confirmation of price headed down towards that area. If price closes below 26.76, and on the daily time frame chart, we don't get it confirmed uh, by the D point pattern. Then the next downside target you'd be looking at, Jimmy, would be twenty four dollars and seventy two cents out there. So that's what I would be looking for. I think you've got a little bit of time to wait on uh, blockchain, um, which is what this is. Blockchain leaders, it's the ETF. I don't know what's inside there. Of course, we did have a number of ETFs come out yesterday for. Bitcoin out there. And we'll continue. We'll monitor those for you as uh, we start to get more and more information. You know, if we take a look at those Bitcoin, and this is not all of the Bitcoin ETFs out there. The only one that's really got any kind of uh, data associated with it would be that GBTC. Now, if we take a look at the January contract out here for Bitcoin, if you're trying to understand where is this likely headed to, the January contract, we can see that price is got a wave number seven top. That's going to go ahead and confirm today. Price below the green oscillator and change line. It's lost some momentum. The next area of support for Bitcoin is down around 40,057 to 38,559. And below that would be 35,000, even Stephen out there. So it does look like Bitcoin's getting ready to head lower. If you were trading the GBTC, what you'd be looking at here is really the similar kind of pattern out here. And its level of support, its first level, its next level of support would be 36.68 below that 34.04 to 34.42. So over time, as we get more and more days and weeks regard uh, out here, you and I will track what's going on inside of Bitcoin and those ETFs. But there's not a ton to report on it for you today. So Jimmy, I hope that helped you out with regard to uh, block and potential entry levels, and at least the pattern to be watching. Uh, we had a request to go take like, gold, and that was with regard to the commodity, and I did not write down who requested that. My apology, but thank you for the request. And the question was, take a look at gold from the shorter-term time frame. So on this set of charts here, the shortest time frame that I've got right now is a 30-minute time frame. If we take a look at a 30-minute time frame chart for gold, we'll see it formed a TD9 count bottom. This is at 1 o'clock in the afternoon back on uh, January 11th. That is today the 12th? Today is the 12th. I think I said it was January 11th. Okay, that's a pretty smooth move there, Stevie. It is the 12th. Okay, so it makes that bottom yesterday, makes a TD9 count top. It completes that at uh, 7.30 last evening, pulls back slightly, never even gets down to the oscillator and change line, negates that TD9 count signal right here at 2.30 in the morning. Once it does that, it's off to the upside. Now, the off to the upside, the price target was 20.56. It sliced through that as well. But it sliced through that on its way to forming a TD9 count top. Now what we have is price trading with inside a profile. And as long as price remains on a 30-minute basis below its oscillator and change line, that's currently printed at 2059 is what we'll call it. If, as long as price remains below that, we should see Goldilocks pull back and test the next level of support. That's at 2050.70. That is the bottom of its 30-minute profile. If price were to close below that, that's Goldilocks, that is 2042.60. What happens if price closes above the green oscillator and change line for a 30-minute basis at 2059? That suggests that we run back up to its high. The high right now would be 2065.50. That's the top of the 30-minute profile. That's a short-term time frame chart. We've got a TD9 count top as well in the 60-minute chart. Now here, price is trading with inside its profile as well. Resistance 2067.30. Support would be 2052 and change, or maybe it's a little bit less than change. Maybe it's 21, 2051 and change out there. That happens to be the 60-minute oscillator and change line. If price were to close below that, 2049.30 would be the level you'd be looking for. The two-hour time frame chart looks like it'll go ahead and confirm a TD9 count top, and it'll do that at 12 noon. That would then suggest price pulling back to 2044. So at this stage here, we've looked at a 30, a 60, 120-minute time frame chart. They're all suggesting a pullback out here. Gold on its daily time frame, you didn't ask about it, but I'll share it with you. On its daily time frame, price also hitting resistance. That's the top of that new profile at 2062.90. So the short-term time frame charts, not necessarily the four-hour or the five-hour chart here, they are suggesting that we should see at least a retracement out there. That's what I see when I take a look at those shorter-term time frame charts for Goldilocks. I do hope that helps you out. 
777 Jack inside the Tiger's Den would like to take a look at ticker symbol B U R. So we're going to move over to the, move over to those charts here momentarily. I just want to close down all those gold charts, free up some other resources. Well, there's another set of gold charts, but we don't need those just yet. Let's go take a look at Burr. It's cold out there. Give me a second here. B U R should be here. There we go. So we take a look at Burr. Burr is what? Burr is Burford, Buf, Burf, Burford Capital. Well, Stevie has a hard time pronouncing that. But I don't have a hard time pronouncing what it's doing. It's consolidating with inside that daily profile. That's got support at 1464, resistance up at 1625. There's an A to B equals CD pattern out there. That was confirmed with a sell the D point pattern. That confirmation took place on January 2nd out there. So you've got to sell the D point pattern. You've got, con you've got a consolidation with inside its daily profile. If price can close the day above the screen asset or change line, that's at 1498. We like to get a move to 1520. 28 monthly or weekly consolidation with inside its profiles as well two consecutive close by 1527 would be nice and i would suggest moving back towards that 17 dollar level we'll finish take a look at burford capital as soon as we get back from this break the gold report as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back. So we're taking a uh, Burford Capital out here. Uh, you've just got a consolidation in the daily and the weekly. I provided you with those numbers so far. If you can close above the uh, 1528 level, it would signal that uh, price would go up to target the uh, TD9 count top that formed on its uh, monthly time frame chart. That was the month of September 2023. And that high out there that you'd be looking for would be 1770. You clear 1770, you're off to the races to the upside. So, Jack, I hope that helps you out with regard to Burford Capital. Duck and Steve would like to go take a look at Amazon out here, AMZ and being the ticker symbol. We take a look at Amazon. What do we have out here? Well, on a daily time frame, you have an A to B equals CD pattern, although really that retracement's not enough. So we're going to get rid of that. That's not enough of a retracement on a, a daily time frame. I can tell that. You need to at least get towards the 382 level. That's just a 20% there or something along those lines. So what do we have here for Amazon? You've got wave number seven. That's likely going to go ahead and confirm today. So Amazon will give you a daily topping signal. Now that daily topping signal, that's assuming we don't get a tick above yesterday's high. Yesterday's high, 157.17. If you do get a tick above that, the wave seven signal extends itself until you get a lower top. Like any topping pattern, all that it uh, gives the uh, sellers the, the ability to do is pull price back to support. Well, there's different support levels out here. The first one inside of Amazon Duncan is going to be at around 153.54. I said around because that's the oscillator and change line that moves. The next level below that is down at 150, 156, the top of its profile. And below that, we'd be looking at 145 to 146, the bullish structured area of that daily time frame profile. The daily signal out there of wave number seven goes along with the wave number seven signal that's present on the weekly chart, but you also have a road's momentum indicator signal and a TD9 count top, and that's what's most important at this stage here. As long as on a weekly basis, price does not close above 155.63, the TD9 count top remains in force out there. And on a monthly time frame, you also have a TD9 count top. Now, if price were to close above that TD9 count top, and again, I think I gave you that number, let me make sure, 155.63, that's a whole different signal. And that would negate the weekly chart. That would negate the uh, monthly, could could negate the monthly time frame out there. And then that would suggest we head higher. But otherwise, Amazon is all set up right now. So, Steve, oh, thank you for even bringing this start to our attention out here for a daily, weekly, and monthly top out there. Maybe we are getting ready for the markets to pull back. So I hope that helped you out. Uh, again, watch the upside because if it closes above that wave seven top on the daily, it extends itself. And if it closes on a weekly basis above its TD9 count top, then it says that that whole idea of moving lower is out of the question. Hector and Patty right in. They want to take a look at the XLE. So let's go take a look at the energy sector out there. The energy sector yesterday, what it did, Patty and Hector, was it tested and rejected a lower swing point with lighter volume. That swing point was from the trading session. Let me make sure of that. Yeah, that was from the trading session of December the 12th. That session did 22.6 million shares. Yesterday, it tested the high of that swing point. It closed above it, and it did it with only 19 million shares. That's called a test and rejection on lighter volume. Not unusual then, Hector and Patty, to see a rally. That's what we saw. Like all rallies, when you form a bottom, that was certainly a bottom signal out there. What's the first thing? The first thing in this case here, because it's a bottom, is try to take out resistance. Turns out the XLE struggled to do that today. That's that red oscillator and change line. Now, that's really your little booger out there, because as long as price remains below a red oscillator and change line, the conditions for that time frame, in this case here, the daily, is that we have a falling price oscillator below zero. Bearish period, end of story. Now, that doesn't mean there's not support, because there is. In the case of the XLE, there's a brand new profile that's forming today. And that support level is down at 8181. If price closes below 8181, well, price goes ahead and revisits that swing point from December 12. But we don't have any kind of a breakout here. Even uh, if price were able to take out that oscillator and change line, that new profile has resistance sector and fatty. That's up at 83.58 out here. That's what the daily time frame charts are communicating to us. Let's go take a look at what's going on on a weekly basis. The weekly basis, price is below uh, the bottom of its weekly profile at 83.09. Not really a good scene. That could be suggested to move back to 80.52. We wouldn't make that call unless we saw a close below that swing point out there, for again, from back on December the uh, 12th. The monthly time frame, we're trading below the center of its bearish structured monthly profile. Pector and Patty, you know what that means. That says the XLE could be signaling a, a move bound towards the bottom of its profile at 6840. 
We're not going there just yet. We're not even below last month's low out there. Um, but uh, but we don't have a bullish signal is really what I want to say coming from the monthly time frame from the XLE. We don't have a bullish signal from the weekly time frame. And we really don't have a bullish signal from the daily time frame either. We just simply have a test and rejection of a swing point on lighter volume and then price running right into that buzzsaw that read oscillator and change line. So I hope that analysis helps you both out. Thanks so much for writing in as always. Neb, you have a fabulous weekend also. ELO inside the Tiger's Den, just as long as we're taking a look at XLE. And because the XLE and uh, Lightspeed Crude track, he would like to take a look at Lightspeed Crude. So that's a perfect timing. Nice segue uh, because maybe we find something out different here that Hector and Patty and I and you should pay attention to. We take a look at Lightspeed Crude. We saw that nice rally today. Now, the rally on this set of charts is not showing the group of descending price um, uh, trend uh, lines out here. So that's the dollar. That's the wrong one. I was going to change screens. Just doing a horrible job. So I will change screens, and then we'll come back and forth out here. So I certainly want to show you what that rally has done and has been doing. And, uh, and the reason for that is because you can draw these lines on your chart as well, ELO. And I'd recommend drawing them out there. So you can see these different trend lines from swing points. You could even add another one out there. I don't need to at this stage of the game. We can see how all rallies have been running into that level of resistance out there. Support has really been the bottom of its profile at 70.14. So I'm not going to show these same trend lines on the, oops, on the white background chart, which was the reason I moved over here. Now let's go move back to those white background charts for Lights Recruit and see what other kind of signal or pattern information we can pick up. And to do that, let's begin with the monthly time frame chart. Just a consolidate with inside its profile. That's between the range of uh, 7180 up to 8792. In the case of the weekly time frame, a consolidation with inside its weekly profile. With a key level of resistance actually being the oscillator and change line, currently printed at 71.57 ELO, above that 77.34. Support here, 69.54. Support for the daily time frame, it's at 70.14. So in addition to light speed crude trading into trend line resistance, it's also trading into its bearish structured profile zone. That's between 75.43 and 77.55. The actual high today so far is up at 70, 75.25, 75.43 being that. Uh, and it's also trading into its swing point here. from That's a TD9 count swing point from um, – December 26th, volume there was 208,000 shares. Uh, you're up with 263,000 already. So it's pushing that swing point with volume. Even rejection says you get back to retest that. 30-minute chart here for light sweet crude. So we've been backing off. Top with the TD9 count top. You're going to form TD9 count bottom here at 12 noon. You'll complete that pattern at 1230. What you should be watching for here, ELO, is some type of rally on that short-term time frame chart. If you don't get that, and price closes below the bottom of the TD night count on the 30-minute base, you're looking at 72.04. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. So let's uh, finish taking a look at this uh, chart, the chart here for light speed crude. See if there's anything else to pay attention to. Uh, we were talking about that 30 minute uh, TD nine count pattern uh, that's going to complete by uh, 1230 out there. So the bounce here, the first level of resistance on a bounce is going to be 7362 and above that 74 and change. 60 minute time frame, I've got to sell the D point, 20, 120 minute to sell the D point, 240, sell the D point. The same thing on the uh, five hour. Time frame uh, chart, uh, five hour time frame chart, maybe not so much out there. Uh, but we, you can see we've got lots of different uh, topping type action. We'll watch the 30 minute, that'll give you a clue as to what Light Three Crude's intentions are. So I hope that helps you out. Let's go take a look at uh, Google. Uh, let me close this set of charts out here, free up some resources. As for ES. XVM inside the Tiger stem. We got to find out what that stands for. And I got the ES mini part of it. And the X and the V, I think we're starting to get into. Roman uh, numerology out there, but what does Stevie know? But let's go take a look at what he would like to look at, and that is called Google. So momentarily we'll get back, hopefully, to the Google chart. Is this it right here? That's not it. Maybe this is it right here. There we go. So we take a look at Google. What do we know? Well, the first thing that we know out here, ES, is that we've got a wave number seven top that is likely going to confirm today. The only way that doesn't confirm is if we get a rally and we tick above yesterday's high. Now, Got a wave seven top and price is doing the first thing, which is testing support, the first level of support. So here's the area to be watching during the day. And that's going to be the top of that daily profile. That's at 143.94. If price closes below 143.94, its oscillator and change line becomes the next target. 142 and change, 142.34. Below that, we'd be looking at the profile level, 141.68. And then below that, 139.42. So Google does have a top it's a wave seven top you now have those different levels of support to watch what happens if price stays above the top of its profile and above its green oscillator and change line and that is an excellent question thank you for asking that question well then conditions just simply are neutral neutral because we have an absolute because we have a topping signal neutral also because we are above resistance two key resistance levels out there 
The weekly time frame chart says, I don't know what the Sam heck you guys are talking about. So maybe longer term, Google wants to move higher, while in the shorter term, ES, this is looking to pull back to test some other support levels. If it doesn't close below 143.94, again, it remains neutral, and the weekly might be the correct signal out here. Well, the monthly says, hold on a minute, guys. I'd like to pipe in. And by piping in, it's telling you and I that if, in fact, we get a close above last month's high, last month's high is what we're trading above right now. If last month's high was 143.94. If we close above last month's high, that negates its TD9 count immediately and tells about a strong upward momentum move. Now, I don't want to get all happy here. Uh, of course, I love being happy. I'm only happy out here. Uh, and what I really meant by that is uh, that doesn't mean it's going to the moon. What it means is that it would head up to 152.10. Now, how can it be so specific, Stevie? That's because that's the TD9 count breakdown resistance level. I don't know whether it can take that out or not, but I do know based upon the signals, the patterns that you and I are looking at, and just simply narrating these charts for you so that you can follow along, you can see the exact same thing that I'm looking at. In fact, if there's any benefit, hopefully there's a number of benefits, of listening to the show or listening to the workshops and watching these charts out here, is that you can narrate the charts. And I can put this set of charts up on my screen. While I focus on one, you can char uh, take a look at the others uh, and come down and determine what is the message of the market as we speak right now. You and I know that at any moment in time, anything can change out there. We can't, uh, for example, we don't know if the <clears throat> Britain and the uh, U.S. are going to start <clears throat> bombing the heck out of the hoodies somewhere. If it does, it's likely to have an impact like it did on gold and uh, light sweet crude and silver and the GDX out there as well. So I hope that helps you out with regard to Google out there. Let's move on to Meta. That's coming in from San L inside the Tiger's Den. We take a look at uh, Meta, Facebook out here. It's just simply in bust out mode. Now, what does that mean, Steve-O? That means it's going to try to bust out its all-time high for back in September of 2021. And that number is 384.33. On a monthly basis, back in September of 2021, there were 338 million shares that, trained, that changed hands. Now, it's only the 12. We've done 135 million shares. Even if you multiply that times three, which is being aggressive out there, well, that gets us up towards that similar type volume. So I don't know what the monthly volume is going to be out there, but if you do get a close above that level, again, that level is 384.33. And that's where price is targeting, by the way. That's why we're focused on that level. Then you're going to have a indication of a much further move higher. And it could be a gigantic a to B equals CD to the upside pattern. On the weekly time frame, there's no topping pattern that's in play right now. There's a Rhodes momentum indicator signal, but that requires a bearish reversal candle. Otherwise, price continues to move higher out there. And you are above its green oscillator and change on a profile levels. And that's the same thing on the daily time frame chart. So with regard to Facebook, Meta, however it is you want to call it, you can see the A to B equals CD pattern on the daily time frame out here. So that says just be cautious out here. Look for some type of bearish reversal candle let's see if we've achieved the one-to-one -one level and the answer to that question is uh, yeah we're achieving it as we speak right now now if you're an aggressive trader you want to go sell the d point go for it but don't do it because stevie suggests that you do it stevie suggests just the opposite you're trading above every resistance level out here wait for the bearish reversal candle to form inside of meta short of that its stock charts look muy bueno now on the 30 minute time frame i can do this real quickly here 30 minutes says hey stevie wait a minute here wait a minute i'm trying to form a rose momentum indicator top out there well okay if you get that then you need to see it close about 374.36 that'll get you down to 371 80, 369, 83, maybe 367, 86, but you got to close board 364, 94 to really get my interest out there, and that is Facebook. So it looks to me like it really does want to move higher out here. Let's go take a look at URNM, that is for LB, and LB wants to know about the A to B equals CD patterns out there. And if that's the case, uh, what we need to really do is change over to my other set of charts out here. But right now, I will stay here just for a moment. We can see on the daily time frame, is there anything that LB has to be concerned with? The only thing that I see out here, LB, is a wave number seven top. And so that says if you get a lower high, that would suggest a pullback or retracement back to the 50 and change level out there. 
There is a Roach Mentum indicator signal. That needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. I don't see any kind of a top on the weekly time frame. In fact, it's just simply all out bullish, and it is all out bullish on the monthly time frame as well. However, a TD9 count top could form in January or February of next year. So let's go back to Stevie's other charts out here. Let's take a look at those A to B equals CD patterns for LB. And they're going to be different A to B equals CD patterns. For example, if we take a look at the monthly chart out here, we have to go. This was an IPO that uh, came out in December of 2019. The B point was the low in March of 2020. The A point, that was the A point. The B point was up here in uh, November of 2021. It pulls back test profile support, and uh, that makes about a 56% retracement. The B point has volume of 17 million shares. So this is a monthly chart we're looking at. You've done 7 million shares almost halfway through the uh, month out there. So you've got... Um, You've got similar type volume out there. If this does give you the volume uh, confirmation, you're looking at an A to B equals CD up to 71.23. The weekly has an A to B equals CD to 63.11, as does the daily time frame. So the only thing you've got to be worried about is the daily chart out there. If you get that lower high, you should expect or anticipate a retracement. If you get a bearish reversal candle, the same thing. LB, I hope that helps you out. We come back for this break. Let's go take a look at Nike and for Dan and the GDX for Hector. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Welcome back. We're 
at the charts here for Nike. Dan's question is, will this get back to the $99 level out there? We take a look at the daily time frame, Dan. That's a real possibility. Why? Because this rally here has run right up into resistance. The bottom of that daily profile, that number is up at 105.85, still below red oscillator and change line. Of course, it needs to take out that swing point here. Looks like from the day of January 8th, that low out there, 101.73. But the daily is saying, yeah, I want to trade lower. The weekly chart says, you know what? If I can close the week today below 103.88, that would be two consecutive closes below its bearish, bullish structured weekly profile. So that you'd love to see. If you get that, Dan, you can see its breakout level is 95.92. That certainly would get you back. You're not seeing Nike? Ah, oh, geez, Louise. Wake up, Steve-O. Wake up, change windows. Thank you about that, Mr. Will. I really appreciate that. Sorry about that as well. Here's the charts now for Nike. You can see Nike, no need to repeat. Perfect, you got it. So here's the thing I'd be watching for then, Dan. You're good at this. Take a look at the 30-minute uh, time frame chart. So as the daily was running into that profile resistance level, you had a TD9 count top forming. Now price is below profile support out here. Watch 104.03. You'd love to see price close below 104.03. If it does, then you're back on your way to lower price out there. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, let's take a quick peek here at Tesla. Then I'll go take a look at the GDX. Uh, Tesla, the question was, where is this headed to? Looks like it's breaking down. It's breaking down miserably. It negated its TD9 count bottom on its daily time frame right away after day number one. I say this is headed back towards its swing low. Uh, that's the swing blow from November uh, 3rd out here, and that is the 194.07 area. That's what I would look at as its next downside target level. And now for Hector and Patty, who wanted to take a look at uh, the question was, is the GDX generated a signal for us that gold's getting ready to break out? And my answer there is no, not at all. You've got a beautiful TD9 cal bottom that formed inside of the GDX. And what did this rally do? Ran right up into two levels of resistance. Hector and Patty, there's a new profile that's forming today. Resistance is 3018. You just got a consolidation right now. With regard to gold, it also ran into resistance at 2062.90. So no, I don't think we're getting signals here of an all out breakout in, a, in gold silver or the gdx folks have a fabulous friday a fantastic weekend there is a holiday on monday so we'll see you back here tuesday 11 o'clock take care be safe out there thanks so much